So, did you just see that? <laughs> that was Hydra catching a tiny water crustacean, a copepod, here again, and now again in slow motion. Yeah, those tentacles of the Hydra, they are pretty dangerous for those little water animals. And I collected the Hydra in this pond over here. And I'm going to show you today how I collected the Hydra and I've been also feeding it those water copepods. So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. And as you can see, I'm now again visiting yeah, a local pond. Uh, I like to visit this place, place quite often. It's not only a great place uh, to swim, but of course also to hunt for pond microorganisms. Uh, it's now the end of May, and this means that uh, I'm expecting to find uh, quite a few microbes here. Um, yeah, I don't know what to expect. Uh, I'll give it a try. So stay tuned. Now there were not a lot of people um, at the pond, uh, it was not uh, sufficiently warm yet. Usually there are hundreds if not thousands of people here, but there were many birds there and this uh, particular bird family was blocking my way a little bit. Uh, mother bird was not so happy <laughs> when I approached it, uh, but uh, after a few minutes I could uh, uh, yeah, collect uh, some water samples without any problems and this is where I also scooped up some of the hydra. Now hydra are quite sensitive uh, to metals uh, and if you find hydra in a pond uh, then this is a sign that the water quality is actually quite good. So for example cadmium and so on, yeah, that's something that they're very sensitive. Uh, um, if, uh, and uh, yeah, if you find the hydra then this shows that this water is actually of a quite high quality. I took uh, the water sample of course home and uh, at home I simply put it under the microscope and uh, I was very happy that I was able to find uh, this uh, particular specimen here. Yeah, hydra, these are cnidarians, so they're related to the jellyfish. And uh, what they do is, is uh, they catch food with their tentacles, and their tentacles contain those tiny cells that shoot out poisonous darts that catch uh, their prey. And um, if you're interested in how I put it under the microscope, if you want to see a slightly longer video of that, uh, then I made one video, and you can watch it in my other YouTube channel. And of course, I put a link uh, below. It's a little bit like a live stream and uh, I did not expect uh, to find the Hydra there so you can also see my surprised face. <laughs> okay now back here. Uh, when I put the Hydra under the microscope of course I said this, I want to feed it something and uh, I've, I've basically tried to feed it some nematode worms, tiny nematode worms uh, like the one over here and uh, look what happens when the nematode worm touches the tentacle of the Hydra well, then it immediately becomes paralyzed because the hydra shoots out those tiny um, yeah, poisonous darts uh, and uh, yeah, they cause the victim to be paralyzed and then immediately it stops moving or at least um, after a few minutes. I kind of hoped uh, to see uh, the hydra actually um, eat uh, the worm. Usually uh, the tentacles wrap over the prey and then it starts uh, to eat up uh, the prey. It did not do that for whatever reason. So maybe the Hydra was already <laughs> well fed and not very hungry. Well, I don't know. Yeah, after a few minutes, uh, I could see the nematode worm here. here. Um, yeah, barely moving <laughs> because the poison has already uh, done its work. And uh, even a few minutes later, I could see that the Hydra completely ignored the worm and it was simply not drawn into the mouth and it was, uh, yeah, floating around the water sample uh, like like a stick uh, really. So a little bit disappointed that I could not see more action I decided then um, also to feed it uh, those water copepods cyclops uh, and uh, water crustaceans um, are um, yeah indeed a very common prey for hydra and those little nematocysts um, they are so strong that they're even able to puncture the exoskeleton which is the hard outside uh, of uh, those uh, little water crustaceans yeah, and uh, it was not immediately paralyzed. It tries to swim away and to escape, <laughs> and it did manage to do so um, after a few minutes. Uh, but then it got caught again, and so on. So it was a back and a forth, and uh, it looks like it's not moving anymore. But actually, it's still alive, and uh, yeah, he now it uh, tried to escape, and then a different tentacle caught it again. Yeah, yeah. So it uh, was quite, <laughs> actually, quite interesting and quite fun to observe uh, all of those processes of life, uh, life going on. But then again, even here, the hydro did not uh, devour uh, the water crustacean. Yeah, it simply uh, caught it, uh, and. Uh, yeah, it had problems escaping, but uh, the tentacles normally they wrap around the prey and it didn't do that in this case. I don't know why. 
Yeah, and uh, yeah, I observed it several times. Uh, the copy pod managed to escape a few times and then was uh, caught again and again. Now, Hydra, they do not have a brain, but they do have a simple nervous system that is actually like a net. Yeah, here the copy pod now was caught uh, by the bird um, of the Hydra. So there's a little outgrowth um, of the Hydra and uh, this outgrowth uh, will form a new Hydra and this is going to detach. Yeah, I was talking about the nervous system. Yeah, they have a simple nervous system. Of course, they do not have a brain. It's kind of interesting to see that um, despite uh, the comparatively simple nature of this organism, that there's still so much coordination possible. Now, Hydra, they have a remarkable also ability to regenerate. So if you, for example, cut off one of those tentacles, it's going to grow a new one. And I just read recently that even if you chopped up the Hydra into smaller pieces, um, then, of course, different Hydra are going to develop. And sometimes those different parts are able to find together again. So that's it uh, again for today. Hope that you liked the video. Do please consider subscribing if you did. And all the best, uh, happy microbe hunting as always, and see you around next time. Bye-bye.